right? Yeah. Let's make it happen. Welcome back to the fourth quarter of overtime, ladies and gentlemen. The official sports talk radio show on 91.5 KNSU at the Nichols State University, the greatest college in, <laughs> in Thibodeau. the world. <laughs> the world. You said it, man. Rhodes Scholars, what you got? Nothing on Harvard on the Bayou. Anyway. All right. <laughs> Let's talk some football right now, okay? Johnny Football. Granted, hey, you gotta, Mike's an A&M fan, too, now. Mike, Mike loves him some A&M. Y'all got to keep that in mind when we're talking about old Johnny. Johnny Football. Johnny Boy. People are bashing him for taking online classes, sort of marketing himself, making appearances at places, just getting out in the public. And taking he's taking four online classes for his schedule this semester. People are bashing him for that. I don't get it. Well, dude, I think if you're at the magnitude he's at right now, being on campus is probably one of the last places you want to be, you know? Yeah. In I mean, my eyes. Uh, I'm with you. Definitely. I, I just, look, you know, we all take online classes, some more than others. If I could take all my classes online, guess what? I probably would. <laughs> well, I think you could, Mike. Mike. You, nah. know, you don't have to be here. Well, I don't have to be here, but my my major, you know, I but Simon Telly's classes... Dr. Chasson's classes, all, all those guys, you know, Lance, our uh, our boss here at KNSU. Our boss. Our boss. He is that. Uh, I mean, they, they don't offer online classes, and I'm okay with that, because I'll tell you what, those classes are fun, though. They are, I, I, this major's really been something I've had a good time doing. Oh, when I got to college, exactly. I thought I was going to be in business. Now, now, I mean, I've been doing the show, we've been doing the show, you, me and you have been doing it almost the full school year. I mean, I did it. Last semester, so I'm going on almost a year and a half of doing talk radio, doing the thing at the, you know, having fun at the television station, doing packages, editing, learning how to do stuff. It really is. It's a good time. It's fun, man. We have fun with it. They, they, it gets hectic at times, of course. What do you mean? mean? Like, right now, it's hectic. Like, well, for you. Yeah, like, I mean, you'll get to it. I oh, mean, yeah. it's kind of I mean, just like, you know, stuff will just get, hey, this is how, you got you to throw it together, got to make it work, so. Yeah. And that's what's it's cool. It's the nature of the business. That's it. And which makes it fun. Yeah. It always keeps you on your toes. Without a doubt. But, no, I mean, Johnny Football, like, he's adjusting to his Heisman fame, I guess, but uh, people are making a story that online class is a bad sign for A&M and Johnny what? Heisman. What? Get out of here, man. Yeah. That's, that's Obviously, if there's not that big of an issue if, if, if the coach is going for it. Exactly. I mean? And that was one of the statements he made to the media. Like, anytime he goes out, anytime he does something, I think you mentioned this uh, earlier. You know, you always had to okay things with Coach Stubbs. Always. Uh, Nichols head coach. He's doing the same thing with Coach Sumlin at AM. You know, it's all right, look, I just want to make sure I'm not violating any rules by doing this, 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 this. And it, it's a sign off thing, you know? So uh, I think people are making too big of a deal about it. But anyway, NFL. Did you hear, did you hear about Richard Sherman and Darrell Revis by any chance? About the about the, the Twitter war. No, I, I did not. Oh man, they're going back and forth at each other's throats. Um, Sherman called out, and classic Richard Sherman. You know, you've seen this guy. He's in his second year. The guy's calling out all the superstars he possibly can at any given moment. It's kind of funny at this point. He, uh, you know, he calls out Tom Brady. Uh, he's, I mean, now he's calling out Darrell Reeves, but he said, you know, he's being a baby about the whole Jets situation, things like that. Wow. Just, well, whose place is it for him to be saying that? I don't, I don't no, know. I mean, Not at all, but I, I don't know, man. I guess it's just Richard Sherman, man. Trying. Richard Sherman. I know, he's talking smack to the Patriots. Yeah, hey, talking smack to that? Brady. Who does that? I don't Has know. Has he not seen the Brady Six? Tom Brady will start crying if you make fun of him long enough, I think. You know? <laughs> What? I'm serious. Brady's the man. All right. Tomorrow. What, what do we got on tap tomorrow? Dude, it's going to be a great day. Dude. Dude. Look, Fan Poll Friday's tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. Get at us on Facebook and Twitter. You can hit us up at KNSU Overtime on Twitter. Overtime on 91.5 KNSU on Facebook. And guess what? Fan Poll Friday. Is get ready, drum roll, Gerald. Please, let's do it. Fan poll Friday. 
the best sports documentary. And you know, Gerald and I were talking about it the other day. We kind of gave you an early release. If you didn't get to catch the show yesterday, well, you missed out on a good one. <laughs> but, look, this includes things like WWE documentaries, which will probably be at least eight of my top ten. <laughs> um, no, I mean, dude, any ESPN sports documentary. for 30, it yeah. doesn't matter, guys. Sports it's... documentary. Now, this doesn't include movies like The Blind Side. That's not a documentary. So, don't come at me with, oh, it's a true story. I don't care if it's a true story. It's not a documentary. <laughs> it's a good movie at that, too, but, it would be, you know, it's not a documentary. We already had our sports movies. If you missed out, I'm sorry. I know, and you know what? We missed out on Happy Gilmore, too. So. We did. We, we really dropped the ball there. <laughs> we really did, man. But we fumbled in the fourth quarter on the goal line, man. At least we didn't pull a butt fumble like Mark Sharon. <laughs> dude, Mark Sharon. dude, speaking of the butt fumble... How long is that going to go on as Sports Center's worst of the worst? They, you hear them talk about it each week because they do their poll every week. What is going to be the worst of the worst? This thing's been going on for months, and they said, I don't think anything can really top it. That's probably going to go on for years yeah. and years and years. I mean, it, it's, it's terrible. The bus fumble. It was terrible. And, 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 you know. Poor Mark Sanchez. That's all I can say, man. Poor bastard. He, he doesn't even know. He doesn't have a. He, he never have, had a chance. I don't chance. even think he realizes that his NFL career is about to be over. Yeah, but and nobody wants to deal with it. No, and you know, to bring some light to the situation, it's all about Fan Poll Friday tomorrow. You know, uh, so again, best sports documentary. Hit us up Facebook, Twitter. We'll be releasing it today. You know, just comment on it, or you can post on the wall. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. The wall. It's it's gonna be great, man. I'm excited about this topic. I think this is this is one of the topics I think I've been most excited about in a long time. Best sports documentary. So I give all my credit to uh, myself, of course. No, I'm just kidding. Big Red came up with this topic, and it was a damn good one at that, man. I'm pumped. So Gerald, let's talk a little bit about it. We got a few minutes left here on overtime. Well, what is one documentary that really just you? Absolutely love through and through. I don't know. Oh, Life of Football Reboot. Life of Football You never saw it, no. No, I haven't. Is Dude, it on you Netflix? might want to watch that before tomorrow. <laughs> Is it on Netflix? Uh, it's on YouTube, 45 minutes. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, dude, there's plenty of good ones. I mean, dude, just go. I, I really can't wait to see what people have to say here. I mean, I already know mine for sure. Oh, well, watch Life of Football and yours might change. No, it, it definitely won't. There's no way, you know? Yeah. Oh, I know, and I think it might. <laughs> Life-changing experience. You're listening to Overtime on 91.5 KNSU. We're about to go on a 24-hour break. Hi, A to C, back in 23 and a half hours. Well, isn't that the same PT? Yeah, yeah. See, back in 23 and a half hours. I yeah. own that for you. I'm sorry. Ah, it's cool, man. Hey, <laughs> it's all good. We share the love here on Overtime, you know? Uh, we preach. Love your fellow friends, yeah. you know? Your peers, yeah. you know? Mike's going to sign us out. Love you guys. See you on Monday. Gerald's running out of the studio. It's crazy. I've never seen this kid run so fast in my entire life. But anyway, yeah. Tune in tomorrow. Same time, same place. 12 to 1 here on 91.5 KNSU. It is Fan Poll Friday. Don't forget Facebook, Twitter. Hit us up with your best sports documentary. See you later. Let's get weird. <laughs> All right. All right, brother. I'm out of control today, man.